So you directed Hulk versus Wolverine, and from what I just heard from the writer, you guys blew this out of the water. Uh, well, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, but I like to think we did something nice with it. Yeah. yeah. Was this an exciting project for you? I mean, were you always a fan of these two characters? I mean, was this something you've dreamed of seeing in animated form for a long time? I won't say I've dreamed of an, uh, I won't say that I it's something I've dreamed about for a long time, but you know, I've definitely been fans of the uh, of the characters. And when it was first explained to me what they wanted to do, uh, actually, my first, my first inclination was to screen because we had two projects to design and to do. And once we started getting into it, it started to become more and more uh, challenging. And from that point on, I had a lot of dreams and I could, I could never get any sleep trying to figure out how I was going to do what we were going to do. So... I guess I did have a lot of dream about it, but it was after the fact and not before. Now, what were some of the biggest challenges in bringing this into, um, like, fruition? Uh, well, I guess these are two of Marvel's biggest icons. Uh, so that in itself, you know, you, you, you want to live up to that stuff. You want to surpass everybody else's, but you also want to give the fans what they want. Uh, you don't want to do the standard thing that we – you know, th these characters have usually done in, in animation. And so you have to figure out how you're going to rise to that challenge. Now, I hear this, if it was rated, would be a rated R film. I mean, does this get kind of gory and kind of violent? I wouldn't say it's an R. I wouldn't say it. We were very careful about how we planned out our shots and uh, how much blood that we would use. Uh, there's definitely as intense... You know, it would be very intense for children if you had that. Uh, but we were very careful to avoid going or crossing over into an R line on this. Uh, I mean, it wasn't, it's not Spawn. Uh, again, the use of the, use of the villains, the villains' powers, uh, the use of the violence in the film had to be choreographed with, with that line in mind of what we could and could not cross. There's a couple of questionable things in there, but that's why we put the humor in, to, to help leaven it a little bit. Now, wh what's some of your favorite scenes out of this? I mean, are we going to see some pretty crazy fights? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, this two and others within the show. Actually, my favorite scene is, is a, it's actually a pretty graphic one uh, that involves Deadpool. That's, that's pretty over the top. So Deadpool is in the movie. Is that what you said? You, you, no, I couldn't. I was on the press line all day. Okay, well, I also heard that the X Force is that right? Makes an appearance. Was it the X Force? No. No. Spoiler. No, it's not. I think I already told you a spoiler, but the film's already shown. It'll probably be in YouTube later today. <laughs> but it looks pretty good. I like these posters. Look awesome. I wish I could have seen it. Well, I'm sorry. Well, it, it'll 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 come out. You'll have to get we'll have to get you something there. Uh, but it's 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 uh, like I said. There's a lot of great moments in it. There's a lot of uh, different fights with different characters. Uh, uh, it's not just Hulk and Wolverine fighting. Uh, there, there's a lot of different things there. And, and this, as the story unfolds, it just one twist after another keeps bringing you around to it. And so. Thanks for talking to us. Okay. It was nice.